March 24, 1989, was supposed to be a typical afternoon for Kenneth Scott Reed, but it turned into a mystery that would haunt his family and baffle investigators for years to come. Kenneth, known as Ken to his friends and family, was a familiar face in Norwich, Connecticut. He had his routine, leaving work at 3.30 p.m. from the BB Dairy in the Norwich Town Mall and making his way to his parents' home on Forest Street. That rainy Good Friday afternoon, he stopped for a cup of coffee, a simple pleasure he enjoyed before heading to visit with his parents and meet his brother Donald later for drinks. But Kenneth never made it inside his parents' house. Despite the heavy rain, he parked his gray car at 3.45 p.m., but never made it into the house, his full cup of coffee still in the car. There were no indications a struggle had taken place. It was as if Kenneth vanished into thin air, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. Kenneth's life seemed ordinary on the surface. He juggled work and family responsibilities often staying with his parents to avoid a long commute from his home in Colchester. Kenneth had started at the store in the mall on West Town Street when he was 16 years old as a dishwasher, working his way up to assistant manager. Kenneth was known as a hardworking and responsible employee, well-liked by his colleagues at the store. He was close to his family, whom he visited regularly. He was born on July 31, 1964, and was 24 years old at the time of his disappearance. He stood at 5 feet 8 inches and weighed 145 pounds. He is described as a white male with brown hair, brown eyes, and a brown mustache. He was last known to be wearing gray pants and white Nike Air Jordan sneakers with blue stripes. He was an avid sports fan, loved to take trips to Atlantic City, and just recently had bought a new stereo system. He was planning a vacation for the week after his disappearance. He left $3,000 untouched in a savings account and another $1,200 in paychecks from work. Interviewed friends said he seemed cheerful earlier that Friday. However, a glimpse into his personal life revealed possible motives for his disappearance. Threats from a disgruntled ex-employee and separate threats from a jealous ex-boyfriend hinted at tensions beneath the surface. Police investigated these angles and concluded with the head detective stating I didn't find anyone who hated him or wanted to hurt him. The investigation was thorough, with state police deploying tracking dogs, conducting aerial searches and a wide area search of the Yantic River, just a stone's throw from where he was last seen. Their large case file also included hundreds of interviews. Yet, despite their efforts, Kenneth remained missing a ghostly figure haunting the memories of those who knew him. In 1990, Crime Stoppers shone a spotlight on Kenneth's case, hoping to spark new leads. As the days turned into weeks and then years, Kenneth's family refused to give up hope. Donald tirelessly plastered his brother's face on posters across the state, determined to uncover the truth. Alleged sightings teased at possibilities, but none were ever substantiated. Years passed, but the ache of uncertainty lingered. Then, in March 2019, a glimmer of hope emerged as Kenneth's case was reopened. Decades may have passed, but for his family, the passage of time only intensified their resolve to uncover the truth. Today, Kenneth Reed's whereabouts remain a mystery. If you have any information about what happened to Kenneth, please contact the Connecticut State Police.